Hey everybody. I'm going to show you how you can utilize your Opus BT-C3400 battery charger to charge lithium ion cells that are designed to charge up to 4.35 volts like these LG ABD 11865s. These are rated for 3000 milliamp hours at a maximum charge voltage of 4.35 volts versus the normal 4.2 volts. So right now if I pop these into this charger, they'll charge up but they won't actually charge up to 4.35, those charge up to 4.2. In other words, not actually utilizing the full capacity of the cell. Now this particular charger has something hidden about it. And you actually have to open it up to really see what I'm talking about here. So you guys may not even be aware of it, but this charger can charge 4.35 volt cells. So we'll go ahead and open it up and have a look inside. And this should be relatively simple as well. Looks like all we need is just a regular Phillips screwdriver, a small one, like this one here. Take these four screws out. See, some of you guys may actually have one of these chargers and may think, oh, I need to go out and buy, you know, let's say in the case you get special cells that charge up to 4.35 volts, you may think, oh, I need to go out and buy a special charger to supplement this charger to charge those other cells. But, lo and behold, right on the PCB itself is a selector switch. Four point two volt, four point three five volt, and three point seven volts. So they don't actually tell you this to begin with. However, this charger does, in fact, support charging up four point three five volt cells. But you're thinking, do I really need to take the cover off? Just you know, hit this switch once in a while, because if you know, if you're like myself who has. Um, 4.2 volt cells and 4.35 volt cells, that'd be kind of aggravating to have to take the cover off every single time to do this. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make me an access hole using a drill and the famous steel nose pliers. Let's go ahead and mark the spot with a sharpie. Now, if one really wanted to, um, you might be able to. It's, like if you have some thin wires, you could actually wire it, switch them to the outside. But it'd be, I think, it'd be easier just to make yourself an access hole. Now I've heard on newer models of this charger, they're going to um, put an exterior switch to give you access to that. Just marking with a sharpie as close as I can. We're going to drill us an access hole. Okay, everybody, the hole is right going to be right there in that area. I don't know exactly what size drill bit I have in this drill, um, but I don't think it really matters. It's just you know to give you enough size hole to where you can tap out with your pliers if needed so I don't know if it's going to probably be in the way but I got to hold this thing somehow The 
don't put too much force on it to the point where I'd you know break the freaking thing, but now I can just go ahead and make it wider. That's it. That's all there is to it. Okay, everybody, I've went ahead and put the charger back together. You can see the little hole in the bottom of the charger now that gives you access to that switch. It's right down there it is, and I've already moved it to 4.35. You can just reach your finger in there and get it. It was kind of hard to get with your finger. But what you can do is you can use a screwdriver with this thing unplugged of course and just reach down in there and pop it over to 4.2 4.35 or 3.7 the good thing is the switch does have a little pop between selections That way you know that you've you know, you've actually moved over one selection. So we're going to plug the charger back in and now I can test out these 4.35 volt cells. And it's one thing you really got to keep in mind here. This is, this is really, this is really important. Um, if you're, if you're someone like me who has both 4.35 volt cells and 4.2 volt, 4.2 volt cells, <laughs> this thing pulls a little bit of a, a little bit of current when you first plug in, there's a little spark there. but um. Anyways, what I was saying is, um, if you're like, if you're a person like me who has both 4.2 volt cells and 4.35 volt cells, you really, really, really gotta be careful not to accidentally um, insert a 4.2 volt cell with the charger selected to charge up to 4.35 because that could be a very hazardous situation, um, potentially resulting in fire. Um, so you gotta be very careful about that. So what I've done here is I made me a little warning flag to set in front of the charger when I am charging the 4.35 volt cells. And one practice I strongly recommend is when you finish up charging your 4.35 volt cells, immediately turn the charger off. You know, I mean, unplug it and move the voltage selection switch back to 4.2 volts. Consider 4.2 volts a default place to have it selected and when you go to charge up 4.35 volt cells you know uh, unplug the charger move the selector switch to 4.35 volts plug the charger in charge up those cells when you're done charging up those cells unplug the charger move the selector switch back to 4.2 that way that, that, that way you pretty much eliminate the chance of accidentally inserting 4.2 volt cells when it's still selected to 4.35 volt mode so we'll go ahead and insert four of these cells, these pink cells, just got to finish charging them up. They're at like 3.7 right now. Got to finish charging them up so that way I can do a capacity test on them, a discharge capacity. And I'll just leave this little warning flag right in front of the charger. And that's it. That's all there is to it. That's all there is to 
charging 4.35 volt cells with your Opus BT-C3400 battery charger. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody, I sure hope you guys enjoyed this video from Q Computer Channel. Remember to like the video, subscribe to Q Computer Channel for more updates, and remember to tick the bell so that we actually get notified of these updates. Did you know that I am also on a second channel that's CubeCop MTDX? Over there you'll find videos of bicycling, weather, elevators, and all sorts of other neat and interesting stuff. Feel free to subscribe to that channel as well. And again, I thank you for your support. And thanks for watching this video.